previous videos we've shown some design work for line side items. Today I'm going to show you another thing that I'm making at the moment. Here you can see a photograph of the Lancaster boiler. The plan is to be able to FDM print this or resin print it. Obviously in FDM it will not have as much detail. I want it to fit inside this model. This model used the same technique shown in some of Eddie's earlier videos with framing and then cladding. As per previous videos, I'm using architectural meters, but I'm going to be inputting millimeters for my size. So I know it will fit when I export it into my model building. The video will end up being split into a few parts because it's not a quick demonstration. I'm going to start off using the circle tool. So on the green axis, so left arrow key, I'm going to draw a circle 15 millimeters. As you can see, it's coming very large. Select tool again, and I'm going to increase the number of segments to 200. I'm now going to use the tool here, which is offset. Clicking on the edge, I'm going to pull it, and I want that to be one millimeter. I now need to click outside, click on the center of the circle and press the delete key. The other thing I want to do is right click, reverse the face and then I want to use the push pull tool and I want to push this back 41 millimeters. Pressing the space bar on the keyboard brings up the select tool. The next thing I'm going to do is draw around it, let go of the mouse and right click, make a group. One thing you will notice here in the entity info, we now have a solid group, one in the model. The next thing I want to do is put an 8mm hole in the bottom of this model. So as you can see here, I'm now in the mid points in the group. I'm going to pull the circle for millimetres. Press enter. I then want the push pull tool and I'm going to pull it up 10 millimetres. So using the space bar on the keyboard I'm going to triple click on this. And then I'm going to right click and uh, make a group. So once again, you'll notice here, it says it's a solid group. So this is a solid group, and this is a solid group. The next thing I want to do is to pull this down through the cylinder. So I'm going to use the Move tool, so you can either click here, or you can use M on the keyboard. And I'm going to move this down on the blue axis until it's gone through the cylinder. So once again... Spacebar to get the select tool, and what I want to do is draw around all of these again, right click and explode. I now need to right click and intersect faces with the model. With this done, I can now go to the erase tool and delete these faces here. And with the select tool here, now you can see I've got a face I can select and I can press the delete key on the keyboard. Select the inner one, press the delete key again. I'm then going to click here. At the moment, this is an internal face. I need to make it reverse face. The last thing I want to do now is close this end of the boiler in. So with the pencil tool, I'm going to draw a line across and that will fill the model. I'm going to use the erase tool, delete that line, come inside the model. I'm going to pull this part. So I want the push pull tool, which is either here or P on the keyboard. But I need to be hovering over it and I need to press the control key on the keyboard. You'll see a small cross has appeared. And I want to pull this one millimeter. This needs to be done because if you don't, you'll end up pulling this face back in with it. But I then now need to right click, 
and reverse this face and I can at this point delete this part and here we now have something that I'm ready to print so I now need the select tool again so spacebar on the keyboard highlight everything right click make a group file export STL make sure you've got model units export to save this as boiler with hold so in super slicer I'm going to bring the model in so boiler with hold I'm going to use this place on face which is here click out of it again click on the model right click and we've got here fix through net fab this tool is excellent and I recommend it it just makes sure there's no errors within your print and again let's go to slice and here you can see this because I'm printing at 0.1 layer height is going to take an hour and 52 minutes you can scroll through here to have a little look at it being made I'm not going to use any support and this should work for you so this is the first part being ready to be made so here you can see the first part printer that we've just designed and also the part we're going to print well sorry the part we're going to design and then print in the next video I do notice a lot of people watching these videos are not subscribed it would help the channel if people either subscribe or like the videos this helps with the YouTube algorithm Thank you.